There! No! Over there! <gasps> the coconut! It's gone! Tweak! Spotlight! Nothing! Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left, and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, oh, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette. But her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how did you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking! You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. I No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh, looks like we've got company. Quasi, you keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, sure. Around here somewhere. I did it, Captain! Whoa! Whoa! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase! They'll never find us! Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! Ho -ho! Here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Peso's bang! <laughs> Look out, Quasi! <laughs> Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill, a furry tail, a webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish! 
that's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. <laughs> Finding us in the dark! We're trapped! Huh? Huh. We've got you right where we want. Now hand it over. Um, excuse me? Hand what over? Not gonna cooperate, huh? Alright then. Get ready to feel the steam. Stop! Look! <laughs> Our baby! Who's got your bill? And your tail. A baby duck-faced monster. It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> Can't eat the cup eggs. He's getting tired, and if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! You see him trying to eat. You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fin hurts. Mm, I'm still going to get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip! I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. Okay, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right ho, Peso. Nice and steady. Ah! Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> Uh-oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the bin. <laughs> okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark bin rack. Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. <laughs> there. Good as new. How do you feel? Good and hungry. Oh no, you're out of your trance. Peso! Flappity flippers! You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey! A cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. That's an all you can eat party! Actually, it looks like I've got you. Thank God, the octopus! I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah, take a shot! <laughs> Tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a. <gasps> take a shot! Wait! A 
but not really a type of shark, I... Oh, these little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wild one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. You can't get away from me! Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody help! Look, down there! The third hammerhead! And he's stuck! We're the Octonauts. We're here to help. <laughs> he's really stuck! We'd better call for backup. There, the last one. Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother! Captain! We're on our way! <laughs> come on! Our brother's in trouble! Oh, no! <laughs> Little pups put up a good chase, don't they? You're telling me! <laughs> uh... Peso, Quasi, over here! Oh, oh, ouch! This does me feel too good. Some slippery ointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. <laughs> don't worry! We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, guys, look behind me. Oh, fascinating. Hammerhead's eyes allow them to see what's behind them. Like that. Shark! <gasps> this should give him something to chew on. <laughs> oops, oops. I'm sure you'd taste a lot better. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, bet you can't catch me. Peso, follow me and bring your friend.
Nancy, activate Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Ah, humpback whales live in the sea. Check, check, check. They breathe air like you and me. Check, check. If humpback whales get too much sun, their skin will burn, which is in fun. A few of them are very pale. Albino means their skin is white from head to tail. That's right. Go home back, go home back, go home back. Creature report, creature report, creature report. We're done with our mission. Octonauts and ease until the next adventure. Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Ah, Snot cucumber zoo slime. Check, check, check. They slip and slide most all the time. Check, check. Snot wiggle around like worms. Watch them squiggle, twist, and squirm. Snot cucumbers slip around the sea. Keep them wet and they'll be happy as can be. That's right! Go snotty! Go snotty! Go snotty! Creature report! Creature report! Creature report! We're done with our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure! Quasi! Hey, sir! Charter! Do you see? Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi! Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Ah, sardines may be very small. Check, check! But their schools aren't small at all. Check, check! Sardines swallow air and then... Rub it out and sink again. They swim close together to stay safe. Check, check, check. Surrounded by their friends, they zip from place to place. That's right. Go snotty, go snotty, go snotty. Creature report, creature report. 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 Seahorse babies sure are cool. Check, check, check. But Dad has the babies. That's the seahorse rule. That's right. Go seahorse, go seahorse, go seahorse. Creature report, creature report, creature report. 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 Cre Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Guppies all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octa hatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. <laughs> Yeah! Tis a rough one, mateys! Yow! Flappity 
Flippers, you're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye! There'd be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be! Holding on by her tail! <laughs> Get as close to her as I can, and then Quasi, you... Quasi? You! I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he... What did you say? Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But Daddy's don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, I mean, don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir, leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. Calling all Octonauts! Quasi! Peso! Charter! Dushi! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi! Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Flash! Slime eels live in deep dark sea. Check! Check! They check. can hear and smell but cannot see. Check! Check! If they're scared, they squirt out goo. If you scare them, they'll slime you too. They can fill a bucket full of globs. And when they start, they just don't want to stop. That's break! Yes, slime eels, yes, slime eels, yes, slime eels. Creature reports, creature reports. We're done with our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure. Quasi, what happened? I found the spyglass, but before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Choo! No, it was me grandfather's, and it should be mine. But Quasi... Three. Okay, boys, let him have it. <gasps> Give me two seconds, and I promise I'll be... And then we ran in, and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. 
There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. Um. My grandfather's spyglass. At last. Oh, great. You again.